one of the reasons why ETs do not openly manifest August 2, 2019. In 2013, former Canadian Defence Minister Paul Hellier made a shocking statement, Federation of Alien Races is watching and controlling us reported the History Channel, an article worth revisiting. One of the reasons why ETs do not openly manifest some say there is sufficient evidence to support Paul Hellier's claims. Almost every culture has stories of emperors, kings, and pharaohs who consulted a group of nine gods. Even CIA scientists allegedly channeled in the 1950s with a group of aliens called the Nine. This group would be here to influence events on Earth, according to the TV channel. In 1952, U.S. physician Andrija Puharik set up a special laboratory that was part of the government's top-secret program. In his laboratory, experiments were conducted with psychological manipulation and hallucinogenic drugs. One of the elements who participated in the experiments was Yuri Geller. One of the most controversial aspects of his research was related to channeling making contact with non-physical beings. Contact was allegedly obtained in December 1952 with a group of entities that was called the Nine. Nick Pope, who worked for Britain's Ministry of Defence, explains. The Nine said they were an endless presence. They kept an eye on the human race from the beginning. At his private residence, Dr. Puharik discussed his research with top people in society. One person who actively participated in those sessions was Jean Roddenberry creator of the famous Star Trek TV series. The series would have been inspired by the mysterious group The Nine. The primary directive of the popular TV series, which prohibited active involvement with less advanced species, emerged from Dr. Puharik Sessions. Pope said, If we are being watched by aliens, it is very likely that they will not land openly in the White House garden due to the primary directive, 